what the weatherman says when the weatherman says it's raining. You'll never hear me complaining. I'm certain the sun will shine. I don't care how the weather vane points when the weather vane points to gloomy. It's got to be sunny to me when your eyes look into mine. Jeepers, creepers. Good morning, starshine. So we're going to go through my day, my, well, not my day, but my morning abrusions this morning. So, um, I'm going to fix the hair easily. I love a good beanie. All right, so let's see what's going on out in the world. Nothing. It's kind of a cool, cool day. This is what I'm wearing. It's like a, a onesie. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, besides all those other things, is not look at ourselves in the camera. We're gonna look at the actual lens. Okay. Hello. So we're going to do some of this thing. It's called H2O. I guess we don't need to record all that. Stop looking at myself. I'm not really a breakfast guy, but. Got to put my on. Put some, put some mushrooms and some eggs. Scrambling it up. That's it. All right, so um, I finished cooking and I was just about to bite into my delicious egg and mushroom uh, thing when I started laying out my vitamins and then I figured, hey, you know what? What if people want to know what vitamins I take? Maybe they don't. So, but um, for all the fancy people out there, um, this is what I take. I take, um, well, that's coconut water and then just go down the line here. I kind of laid them all theatrically for my viewing pleasure. But I, I, I do a lot is uh, this coconut oil. This thing I'm actually out of, but I love it so much that I wanted, I kept the bottle so I could show you guys. Um, it's called Breathe. And it's a really good, it's a really great thing. It includes like all these different types of mushrooms, including cordyceps. Hashtag cordyceps. I love cordyceps. If you don't know what cordyceps are, look it up. And then there, I do, I do a B complex. And then I take some biotin, you know, vein stuff. Beta carotene, yeah. So I need a couple of those. I got your vitamin A. It's the, it's vitamin A. You know, there's like, it's the first letter of the alphabet. <laughs> Okay, I do a lot of niacin because I'm a really sad person. So, um, like, you can take as much niacin as you want, you won't die. But, um, you know, I get this brand at, um, Lawson's from the people that brought you the Book of Mormon. Well, not the musical, but the, the actual Book of Mormon. You want the flush, okay? You, I don't know what it is, but like every time I do the flush, I suffer a little bit, but then afterwards, I feel terrific. I do this um, calcium and magnesium th bit, the vitamin C, like I literally do like, I should have its own bowl, but I do a lot of vitamin C. Okay. So then um, we gotta get out of, we gotta have our amino acids. Amino acids are important to essential health, or essential to like health. You know, you need it to live and to function. And don't you want to function? I don't know. People don't want to, don't really care. They just live life and they're just alive and, you know, don't want to know why. I don't know. I don't understand. This is just a basic dietary supplement. You know, whatever. Can't hurt. Doesn't really do much, but it can't hurt. 
vitamin E. They said to not take a lot of this, but then some people say that it's okay. So I just take a little bit more than a lot. Okay. And then finally, this this stuff smells great. This is garlic uh, oil pearls. And this smells like heaven on earth. It basically smells like garlic. But, um, it, like, after you take it, you could, your whole mouth smells like garlic. Or you could taste it for a while. It lingers on the palate. So this is a lot of vitamin. This is a, um, essential minerals. I love this blue bottle that it comes in. And then, finally, bum ba da bum the creme de la creme. This is iodine. Iodine, oh, mine is with potassium or something like that as potassium oh I can't read as pota it's hard to read in this dark as potassium iodide I don't know what that means but I think it makes it water soluble because of the potassium and um, it says two drops per day did I just pour some already I don't know you can't really you could do too much iodine but it's like a lot, a lot, a lot. So I'm just gonna put like, since I'm kind of, I haven't been taking a while, I'm just gonna put a couple of those. I'm not a doctor, I'm not telling you, hey, do this, do this, do this. This is what works for me. And I, you know, I do a lot of like, people always wonder, why are you so in, like, why are you so into this, like, these vitamins and all this stuff? So maybe because I'm not really that healthy. That is it. Oh, and before I forget, so you every morning you do the vitamins. Sometimes I eat. Most importantly, you have to do this every single day. You gotta do steam. And um, this steam, oh, I forgot. Just to give it a little kick. So then I will do this for about, um, 10 minutes a day after I eat and take my vitamins. I will do this, just sit here and um, I will just sit here and uh, watch a 10 minute YouTube video or a TED talk, whatever. I say TED talk because I want to sound classy. The only thing about this that I would have to say is make sure you clean it really well because they do tend to get really icky really fast. So that's it. Happy health. <sighs> Naturally, if you're going to be taking a lot of vitamins, you're going to be drinking a lot of water. In the morning, try to drink two liters of water. I know it sounds impossible, but it's so possible. That's where I'll show you you're my office mate. Nursing for Paula's. We are finally ready and gonna go out into the world. And this is my partner, Janelle KN. We will be performing scenes from Death of a Salesman by Arthur Miller, Tartuffe by Moliere, and I will be performing a monologue from Timon of Athens by William Shakespeare. Um, hello, my name is Paula Hintower, and this is my partner, Arthur Miller. And I'm going to be performing a monologue from The Taming of the Shrew by William Shakespeare. We'll be performing a scene from A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsen, and we'll also be performing a song called The Temp and the Receptionist from Out of Our Heads by Michael Blumen and Christopher Dunning. <laughs> <laughs> another another um, aspect of this festival is called the Musical Theater Initiative. performance was delightful. Oh, I didn't like, oh, I took some video footage of it. Mm -hmm. Hey, look who's guest, look who's making a cameo. It's Angela Damas. And let's, let's find someone else to interview besides Nina. You can interview. Okay, so 
I'm gonna be um, interviewing while um, Nina. I'm gonna be interviewing Nina while eating the sandwich, and I'm gonna be talking with my mouth full. So um, everyone, just get over that. So oh, Nina. Nina is a Academy Award winner. Well, Academy? Not yet. Up, 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 Broadway. <laughs> she said, up, up, up. She looks, she's so busy. She's getting phone calls all the time. Nina is a director extraordinaire. She's directed such hits as The Vegas Wedding and other hits. That's a joke because I wrote The Vegas Wedding. <laughs> Fantastic play. I hear the playwrights hack. I gotta find a new joke. Delightful. Look, this is Nina. Never waste. Is that my character? Oh, look, it's a bird. Yeah. She'll get the, um, you know, she'll get the, like, the wraps from Trader Joe's and, like, peel off, like, a giant, like, half of the tortilla every time. I'm gonna not on this. So how much do I owe you? Oh, please. Only your life. <laughs> your life. <laughs> Mom, I don't. I want to help people, but I just don't think that I have to give them my life. I, I feel like I'm going through my life. You do owe your life. You do. <laughs> I don't. You do. <laughs> Say hi to Angela's friend. Hi, Angela's friend. In the shot, I can't see. And we're gonna have kombucha in our little sample. Thank you. Cups. There you Thanks go. a lot. Next to the beautiful drinking water. And because it's a special day, we are enjoying chocolate with hazelnuts. Oh. What kind of nuts? Hazel. Hazelnuts. And we have one little fish now. All you need. All you need. Hazelnuts and love. You don't really need a lot, you just need hazelnuts. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. Oh, my shirt was open the whole time. No, it wasn't. During the performance. No, it wasn't. I think it was. It wasn't. It wasn't. No, yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It wasn't. Yes, it was. It was not. It was is. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't. It was. Shot. Ha. No, it was. I win. Honestly, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. Kombucha dog? Yes, please. Oh, you poured it like a geisha. And in geisha, as I mean, as in geisha, I mean artist. <laughs> Nina is a, a, a dancer, modern dancer. Took years and years of dance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she also dances. Should we take the secret dances? Sure. No. Dances of darkness, buto dance. Amazing stuff. If you don't know what buto is, B U T O H, Google that. And watch a guri. And if you could pray to find any. Pray to OG U R I. O G U R I. Let's interview somebody that is okay with being seen on camera. Hi. <laughs> this is Paula Handauer. Hello. Way to the good people of YouTube. Oh, and look who's joining us. Alana Yershorn. <laughs> Brought to you by. Banana. Banana. <laughs> Paula is our Irene Ryan nominee <laughs> I haven't from Twelfth Night. So Frankie is also Irene Ryan nominee from Twelfth Night. And I kept saying no, Night. Like, oh. Tell us about your film. About myself. Well. While I eat this soon. I'm I'm from Brazil. You want some of this? No, thank you. But actresses I, don't eat. I don't eat. Let's like, pretend I didn't just eat or an entire to the tuna sandwich. No. <laughs> just pretending. <laughs> we are actors. So. <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. It's all about being truthful and acting. We stay in shape by fasting. I know. Well, I inter baby. intermittent fast. No, no, no. I only eat for eight hours and then don't eat until the next day. Oh. But but you do it on purpose. Yeah. yeah. Because. Fasting. Correct. fasting makes it sound like religious you though. But but it, it, I mean your body should be a temple. I only eat for eight hours. And then after if eight hours is up, I'm done. So that because you're fasting. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Whatever. Anyways, so back to Paula. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's even religious because it's like that's why it's called break fast. Oh. Mm. I never knew that. Well, oh. <laughs> I, I must have known it 
but I forgot. Oh my gosh. No. This, this is, is like, epiphany brought to you oh by my God. The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> like my Nina will be BRB, so everything we're gonna all like not talk until she gets back. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this okay. is, um, what is it? Yeah, <laughs> oh my god, that was so funny. You saw our expression. <laughs> you saw the reaction video of I know, right? Alana's performance of silence. Yeah. Is golden or just silence? <laughs> or there's no title, it's just like. Just there's not. nothing. Dots. <laughs> you should have seen her. That was so funny, Alana. You should have seen her walking out to. Uh, when, when you had to show Angela how to walk. <laughs> oh, bye, Alana. Bye, bye, Alana. <laughs> it's like 1.20 p.m. <laughs> bye, Alana. You're not going back to work or anything, so... <laughs> okay. So, Paula, finally, what has this whole Irene Ryan nominee experience been like- Oh, I'm sorry, we're out of time. Ooh. I'm just kidding. Really? <laughs> I was like, what? what has this experience been me? like so far? What, my moment to what do you do? What do you do as an Irene Ryan nominee? So, what? Paula, you are the Irene Ryan nominee. I am. What do you do now? Well, first you have to, you know, choose your scenes, choose your partner, and- What does that mean? What are scenes? What are partners? What is? What do you have to do? As an Irene Ryan nominee. Mm. Okay, so basically, um, we're going to Arizona to a theater festival, and we're going through different um, stages of uh, competition. I would say, as Frankie. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm explain. I'm, I'm all ears. <laughs> basically, a competition. And so basically, you know, an acting competition, so we have to get some scenes, so we have to choose different plays and uh, maybe some, you know, if you want to do a song, you have to choose a song from a musical. And, um, you know, you choose the best ones that you think fit, you know, your, I don't know, how can I say that? Kind of fit what you want to I mean, what transmit. Yeah, right, exactly. Exactly, yeah. And then you just choose your partner, uh, make sure it's a good partner, you know, like JB. And <laughs> he's my partner. Yuck. And hey, why don't you guys sit next to each other and then you guys both talk about it? Because right. you guys are like, yeah. These are both our nominees from Twelfth Night. Hey, yo. Hey. But you got a little light in you. Frankie Macedo, Paula Hantower are Irene Ryan nominees from Twelfth Night. So what is KCC here? Right, yeah. Okay, what if we did this? Uh, the thruple. The, tr yeah. the thruple. I know, it's 2018. Okay. It's the interracial thruple. The interracial, interracial thruple. thruple. There you go. We're mainly all like Hispanic. Yes. Here. Uh, of, Actually, of, I'm 500% white. 500%, <laughs> that's a lot of percent. Yes, that's a lot. Besides Frankie. Well, because <laughs> Hispanic means um, um, having like origins, or oh, I forgot the exact definition, but like ancestry, Spanish, anse Spanish ancestry. Mm. So Philippines has a very unique history in like whatever. Very much Because so. um, my great, grand great great grandfather was from Spain. So I technically have Spanish origin or something, whatever. Oh. Yeah. So like my, um, I'm from Brazil. Like I was born and raised there, but my mom, she's American. <laughs> my grandfather was British. My grandmother was American. Oh, your mom's American. My mom's uh, is American. Yeah. So like I have a bunch of family here, and then my from my father's side of the family, um, I'm I'm Jewish. Um, so like my my father was born in Brazil, but my grandmother is from Germany, and my grandfather is from Egypt. Yeah. Is this taping? It's like crazy. Uh, what? Yeah. Um, I remember like when Osai is visiting. Um, Evita's grave and uh, Ooh, yeah, it's so I, know that yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know what that is. I know what that is. I've seen the musical. <laughs> the pH is nine point five. What does that mean? It means that it's good. not. It means it's good. What, is it? <laughs> what does it mean? What, what it means? Ions. Nine is the number. Like out of ten, it's like you know, it's like the pH nine scale. Nine plus five is fourteen. Take away the, one, it's thirteen. I thought the pH yeah. scale Take was fourteen. Away. Oh, is yeah. that a fourteen? Yeah, I thought 14. it was fourteen. Oh, I'm sorry. It's been a very long time since I've taken a science class. Um, yeah. So most waters are at six. Uh huh. If you buy any kind of water, like it's always six, but that's like not neutral. That's like acidic. 
Which miles. was like seven. Yeah, but it's, it goes up. It goes, it's a spectrum. Yeah. Yeah, so, but you could have five. Five is like acidic, really acidic, right? No. Right? One. Yeah. One is really acidic? Yeah. Oh, what's six? Is that six neutral? Seven is neutral, you're Seven right. Seven is neutral? Yeah. Most water is six. Which, under is which oil is under. Which is starting to get acidic. Yeah, but you know what? Nine and five is fourteen. Four and one is five. Five is the magic number. Five is the number of the fifth planet, which is where the aliens came and got them so this water has that special... Exactly. <laughs> See, it was the number, the four, the four, the fourteen, and then she had to leave. The See? Oh, I know. There's something magical about it. It is magic. I started in high school when I was seventeen, so it's been about five years now. Wow, that's a degree. You don't say, JV. Name your Shakespeare company. My Shakespeare company, Passado Action Theater. Yeah. yeah, we do we do Shakespeare and swords. <gasps> Frankie is a combat special theater stage combat specialist. Where Frankie? Uh, we're actually we're based right here in Glendale. Um, we're at, with Passado Action Theater. We do we do this this uh, road show of uh, a lot of Shakespeare vignettes from multiple plays, and we we just get the scenes out and we add some some stage combat, uh, whether it be some physical body work or we, we have a lot of weapons that we get to use. We're trained to, 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 to fight with Italian rapiers and uh, English broadswords and all those nice stuff. But um, my favorite one is Macbeth because I get to play Macduff and we have these really nice acts and I get to swim around. Yeah. Nice! Yeah. That's I don't live in China. <laughs> oh, what is that? Is that like a racial slur? Oh, yeah. oh, look who's back. I'm back. I got my keys. We forgot. I had her keys in my pocket from our scene. Actually, she didn't really leave. That was acting earlier. That, that was, was really acting. good acting. I know. That was so such a good acting. I, I, deserve, I deserve an Oscar. Best actress. We'll cut that part yeah. out. <laughs> we'll Bye, Paula. We'll get like recording Bye. the hug. Bye, guys. Bye. Take, Take care. Take care. Bye. So that's what we do every day. Yep, every day. Yeah. And we'll try to please you every day. <laughs> this is the life of a threesome. <laughs> oh, those weepers. How they hypnotize. Knock me out. Where'd you get those eyes? Where'd you get them? Won't you put me wide? Don't you die, man. Pay to advertise. Tell them, drop me. Where did you get the love?